helping hand think of how your family has helped you in every little and big way think of how your friends helped you when you needed something or were in trouble be it school home or the playground there always are situations where someone might need a little help from you be ready and willing to help for you never know when you'll need it yourself a helping nature creates a circle of kindness and what you give comes back to you in much larger measures amit pedaled hard pushing his bicycle faster he was late for school and didn't want to stand outside the classroom for one full hour the principal did not take kindly to late comers 10 minutes to the first bell he thought looking at his watch he'll have to get up earlier from tomorrow the school was still a kilometer away 5 minutes now amit was sweating as his legs pumped up down up down he went round the turn slowing down when he saw the little girl by the roadside he could see that she was crying tears streaked her fair face and her body heaved with loud sobs unthinking Amit braked hard and stopped by her. She was wearing a pretty frock and her hair was combed and braided neatly. She must be from a good family. Was Amit's first thought. He stood his bike and kneeled beside her. What's the matter, child? Why are you crying? He asked gently. The girl's sobs became louder as she clung to him. I'm in trouble. Amit was thinking of the principal's stern face and his harsh scolding. He looked about. On his left was a big residential colony, on the right was a open field. There wasn't much traffic on the road at this time of the day. It was only 7:20 in the morning. What should I do? Amit couldn't make up his mind. He could still make it to school in time if he left. But how could I leave this little girl here? She must have wandered out of her house and lost her way. Mama, Papa. The girl finally uttered amidst sobs, her little hands round his neck. But she couldn't tell him her address or her parents' name. Amit made his decision. He elled help her get back home, even if it meant being punished at school. It took him almost half an hour. asking people around in the colony talking to shopkeepers and to children playing in the park until an elderly gentleman recognized the girl and directed amit to her house the parents were very thankful the little girl now safe in her mother's arms smiled at him like an angel and amit was happy later at school while he stood outside his classroom and his classmates made fun of him He was thinking of the little girl whom he'd taken home and on whose face he'd put that angelic smile. A good thought. The little girl did not ask Amit to help and Amit could have cycled on and reached school in time. But he could not leave the child crying by the roadside. He had to do something for her even if it meant getting punished at school. Do you think Amit did the right thing? What would you have done had you been in his place? Each day we have many chances to help those near us. Look out for those who need your help. Don't wait to be asked and never expect anything in return. Make this a habit and see how it changes you and the people around you.